Alrighty, everybody. Welcome back to the Son of a Boy Dad podcast. Today it is Monday. It is December 19th. And we're talking about geopolitical issues. Today we're talking about geopolitical issues in the industry. Yeah, so whether you're a lib or whatever the opposite of a lib is... You're gonna want to li- you're gonna want to hear this shit. You're gonna want to strap in and listen because it's about to get real political. A lot of people are big into being libertarians. They want the government out of their life. Well, we're an authoritarian podcast, and we want big government in our lives. Number one, government loving podcast. We love the government. Big government. We love all the choices that they make. Big ideas. And if, you, uh, if you're if you anti-government, if you think that the government's doing something wrong, if you don't accept the government into every part of your life, you're the problem. Damn straight. Couldn't have said it better myself. You're part of the fucking problem. And we're going to march on Washington and let it be known that this is what we think. We're going to fucking link arms with our brothers and brothers, and we're going to all walk down there and fucking march on Washington. All right. Penis hats. All right. All right. All right. We got it. I want to hear about your plane ride yesterday. With the uh, did you was that thing that you tweeted real? Did that actually happen? No. Oh fuck! <laughs> I was dude. trying to look who it was. Yeah. I really was hoping it was real. <laughs> that I was in a screaming match with yeah, someone. Yeah, dude. I mean, I did get on the plane. That's such a bummer. What? I was excited to ask about that. Yeah, it did seem sweet. Fuck, dude. I was just telling a joke. That's what you do online. You're like, yeah, Addison Ray is shaking ass in the White House. Yeah, dude. But that's I come in. I'm like, what, dude? I need to hear about this. No, but it was a funny. It would have been hilarious if that happened. I know. The lady. Well, I mean, I I sat next to a lady. She was masked up, and she did have a dog on her lap. But like, uh, she never said anything to you about not having she a didn't. mask. But I was super self conscious because uh, I was sick last week, and I like like oh, I just had stuffies. to like stifle stifle my stuffies. Yeah, that's pretty bad. I was at the, when I was at the doctor today. I was stuffing like crazy, just sniffling all over the place. But I was just going through scenarios in my mind where her masked up ass like gives me a hard time. And I'm like, well, you got a fucking dog. Yeah, 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 yeah. I might get you sick. You're getting me sick because I have a fucking severe. Shih Tzu allergy yeah. or whatever type of fucking dog she had on her lap. Dude, the doctor's office is, uh, that was my first time being to like a real doctor's office. That's not a city MD in like years. And they, dude, they, they just throw on charges and you could, they could just be like, you owe us a thousand dollars. And I'd be like, okay, that sounds right. Yeah. I, if you I want to open a hospital. It's really annoying dude. Cause I, I had to pay $25 to confirm the appointment. That shit doesn't even make sense. And because I that's why it got canceled last week, because I didn't confirm the appointment. And then and then I go to check in, like, all right, you have a $45 copay. Can't, and like, they can't waive that. And I was like, what is that? I was like, what does that even mean? Yeah. And I paid it because I'm like, I have to see the dermatologist. Totally. And then they rip me, you know, they rip me open. What does copay they even rip mean? Rip open my chest. What does copay mean? Half your insurance and half you? I have no idea. Like your insurance, they're also just charging a guy and he has to pay like 45 bucks out of I his don't know. pocket. And then I saw, remember I was telling you about how they how they canceled my appointment because I didn't pay the $25 fee? Uh, last I time? saw a girl come in, same thing happened to her. She was like, I never even got like a call about it. And they were like, yeah, they canceled the appointment if you don't pay it. So when do you have to pay it? Dude, they don't, they don't say anything. Like I, the only reason I was able to get an appointment was because I went in and I rescheduled there and paid there. And God forbid you like say no to one of the fees. I know. I'm like, well, she won't see you. Sorry, dude. Oh, I didn't. I don't, I don't know if you saw my text, but I went in and I was like, <laughs> I was seeing the nurse. You know, they bring the nurse in before. Yeah. And she was like, so what brings you in today? And I was like, I got a. Uh, I was like, I have pityriasis rosea, rosacea. I don't know because I've heard people say it's rosacea, and then the dermatologist told me it's rosea. Yeah. And she, the the nurse goes, she's like, man, I don't even know how to spell that shit. <laughs> It's your job, man. I was like, holy fuck, dude. That's I was like, this was supposed shit. to be the saving grace. So I was like, this is like, I've I've gone to the city MDs. They sucked. I was like, this was supposed to be the place that I could come and get the answers. And they're like, I don't even know what that is. They've, we've never seen this yeah. before. They're just bringing in doctors from other hospitals yeah. to gape at you. And then I, uh, and then I went, and then the dermatologist comes in and she's like, I heard you brought us a rash. <laughs> and I was like, yeah. And she's like, uh. She's like, all right, show and tell. And I had to like take my shirt off. Damn. And then she's like, it's not, yeah, she's like, it doesn't look like pityriasis. 
I think it still is though, because it's like fading. It's not what it like. It's not like what it used to look like. Bro, what do you mean? You think you think you know better than her? No, she said it might be, but so then they did a what is it? What is it called? A biopsy. A biopsy, and it hurt. It didn't hurt, but oh, I don't like. I don't even like thinking about it, dude. Did they numb up that area? They numbed it up with a shot, and then they scooped out my skin, and then they uh, stitched it up. They they took their pound of flesh off of you. Yes. Yeah, so now I have so now I have stitches on my chest for two weeks. And she was like, you can't swim in the ocean or pools. You can still shower. And now I'm like, dude, so work. what are you going to do? I uh, no, Now I'm, well, no, I was like, I was like, yeah, that shouldn't be an issue. I'm not planning on swimming anytime soon. You can't go to the ocean. I know. And, but I, I, I still am. I, the whole thing is I want to be able to work out again without having to worry about this exploding. But now I'm like, well, if I work out and I sweat and it gets in the stitches, like, am I going to die? What about the other times that you just worked out over the last couple of weeks? It was twice. And I, and I only did weights because I didn't want to sweat a lot. And you didn't sweat a lot, so so it didn't make it any worse. No, it did. Damn. And I did sweat a lot. When can you kick this fucking habit? She said it's. She kept on calling it a nuisance. <laughs> no shit. Yeah, she was like, it's a nuisance rash, which I'm pretty sure means like it's just a pain in the ass, and it's not actually like bad. She was like, there's nothing to be worried about, but we're gonna figure out what it is and hopefully get rid of it. You just want to be free. But again, she also though. she also was like, it's gonna take a couple months. Dude, so this, like, is gonna I, be, this is going to be going on like a year. Yeah, this will be a full year. Yeah, this is terrible. Yeah, have you tried an oatmeal bath? Uh, dude, I tried everything. Fuck. Yeah, you might just be fucked, dude. You might be a leper. I might just be rashed up for life. Yeah, you might have to just be. Uh, but whatever, we'll get like tattoos of it. Yeah, at least it's the winter now too. So it's like not. I don't have to show skin. Honestly, this could like help your acting choices, or like your your acting props, or like your ability to get in like commercials and shit like that. Why? The way that they always put like people oh, who yeah, are like yeah, burn yeah, yeah, victims yeah, yeah. or people who have like fucking what's the one where your skin wine like, changes colors? Yeah, yeah, like Winnie Harlow, like yeah. the actress or the model. Rather, Al- was it alopecia? Alopecia, that type yeah. of shit. In dude. Warzone, like the main screen on Warzone is like a soldier with alopecia. Really? And it's like, what the fuck is this? Representation. Yeah, you're gonna be the Warzone main screen with just your fucking I pimpled know. up fucking torso, with my rash everywhere. I actually am a victim. You are kind of a victim. I know. Or you're an underrepresented part of society that yeah. needs more on-screen representation. Yeah, I know. There's not too many of us out there that have had it. Like if you, if someone gets hired to be in Chernobyl, like an extra or some shit with like a fucking scarred flesh and yeah. like they put makeup on them, they're It'll basically using your they're culture gonna get me as a costume. As an, yeah, I need to be an extra on a movie. You'd have to pop your top off. Oh, that's not happening. They CGI I, your I, nipples. I didn't like, even want to pop my top off at the dermatologist. You're like I was showing so her. uncomfortable. Yeah, she and then she was like, she's like, it's probably better if you just take it off. And I was like, <laughs> ah. I, and then when she was like, let's do the biopsy, I was so close to being like, I'm good. I was supposed to be, I was gonna be like, I, I'll just, I'll just cap the rash, dude. I was like, I don't want to have this at all. <laughs> how much would it break you if? Like, oh, it hey, dude, it was the weirdest feeling ever. How much would it break you if when the when you took off your shirt, the dermatologist was just like. No, I think that's like what she was thinking. I like it's all she like lost respect for me. When like it came stifling off. a yeah. laugh, like if she just like saw, but like not about to. She's like, well, I'm seeing some problems right off the bat. Yeah, and it has and nothing to not do with your rash. skin. Yeah, <laughs> it's got a lot to do what's going on with under the skin. Yeah, she just body shames the yeah. fuck out of you. Yeah, you think that she's gonna have incredible bedside manner, but well, she actually yeah. just flames you. I was looking nice and big today too. I mean, we were coming off a long weekend in Buffalo, bro. I was so fat flying on this flight. Oh, that's the worst feeling, dude. I was in like a button down shirt and it was like about to like pop, 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 pop. <laughs> yeah yeah like it was about to I, I literally unbuttoned my shirt halfway and had my belly hanging oh, out dude, on the flight I was so feeling. fucking fat I was telling we I was talking about that with Mook when we were going to the Bills game I was like dude do you ever get like do you ever just be on stage and just be like I feel really big right now <laughs> <laughs> like in all in all the wrong places, you can. That you sounds just, pregnant. You as just hell. feel big. Uh, I feel really big. Like right there's now. a lot of you up on stage. That's like something a woman would say on the their stage. period. Yeah, like, dude, oh, I'm sucks. feeling really big right now. I don't know why I'm wearing headphones. I can't hear myself. Yeah, I'm free myself. Fucking just me and the microphone and my my boys. So wait, what? You guys were out in L.A. and then you came back and you went out to Chicago. Yeah, I've been exhausted as Damn, as a bitch. It's a dude. long week. Not to complain. Actually, I'm not exhausted. What the fuck am I talking about? I was just a little tired. You got this break coming up. Yeah, but I got to go to Arizona. I'm going to the Arizona Bowl. And you're staying there for Christmas? The other night, I was like, when am I going to get some rest? Yeah, not knowing yeah, that yeah. I was just like, A, on like a fucking week-long tropical vacation. Yeah. And B, <laughs> the things that I bitch about are like having to go to LA and like hang out with yeah, an NBA player. Yeah, but traveling is tiring, his, like, dude. It sucks. In his pool house. Yeah. 
go to like suck. our bar that we own in Chicago and yeah. like having like gamble and like eat free food and shit like that. And I'm like, when can I finally have a fucking yeah. respite from my I struggle? Had a, I had a moment like that yesterday. I was in the airport and I was like, dude, I was texting my buddies and I was like, dude, uh, I was like, this shit is getting so exhausting. Like Stay in college to- as long yeah. as you can, boys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Seriously, it's not all it's chalked up to be. <laughs> yeah, I was like, dude, this is getting so tiring, like having to like go straight from work during the week to going to do stand up and then coming back and going straight to work. And, and they were like, my buddy was like, dude, I've been at work since like five in the morning. And he's like bartending at a bar for the World Cup. And I was like, ah. And I'm like complaining because I have a 30 minute flight back from Buffalo. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the almonds that they gave me like taste old. They like really literally yeah. like taste like almonds from the 60s. It's like lightly salted, but there's no salt on them. Yeah. Or it's way too much salt. Like just yeah. find lightly salted. How yeah. hard can that be? The way back though is always way worse. So I don't know about you, but the way there, like when you're going somewhere, you you you, you get into you go to the hotel bar, have a couple of bloody Marys drink on the plane a little bit but the way back right. you're, you're the way All back right. there's no you can't be drinking on the way back yeah, i don't know i was drinking on the way back yesterday really oh dude on the way back i could i i feel ashamed if i do that yeah i got you got to take the sunday off dude i know but i was i was drinking during the day i was like drinking during this gambling competition oh i, well, I guess you had that eagles were playing birds are playing yeah birds they won. flying high they won R- risky game though no it wasn't risky it was a calculated risk they didn't play as hard as they could have, so they, they weren't could playing save. hard. They, they weren't could, playing hard. Yeah, they didn't try that hard. That wasn't the hurts. You, that wasn't the hurts that I know. Because they were playing little brother. What do you mean it wasn't the hurts you knew? He had three touchdowns and passed for three hundred yards. Why didn't he throw for four hundred, bro? Why didn't he have four touchdowns? Because they were winning. Did he actually have three touchdowns yesterday? Rushing. That's fucking insane, dude. Three rushing <laughs> touchdowns. <laughs> That's crazy. They're definitely gonna win the Super Bowl. He's so strong in his legs. They are a hundred percent gonna win the Super Bowl. Touch wood. <laughs> no, I'm not touching shit, dude. Yeah, They're you are. Definitely no, you're win. touching wood I'm not right knocking, now. Though. No, you're touching. I'm it. not walking. Knocking. Yeah, that was a knock. That was no, that was not a knock. That was a tap. And it has to be three knocks. Dude. Are you feeling confident? About the birdies? <laughs> yeah, when did the playoffs start? I just started feeling yeah. weak whenever I tried to lift your leg up with my leg. Oh yeah. That's you, a hard you thing have, to do. You gotta be you gotta be all abs to do that. You have heavy legs too. No, dude, that's a strict ab workout. Yeah. Leg raises. Friends, this episode is brought to you by Game Time. Game Time, the exclusive ticketing partner of Barstool Sports. Game Time is a ticketing app that makes it easier than ever to score last minute t- deals on tickets to sports, concerts, and shows. And they guarantee the lowest price. Like, if I want to go to an Eagles game, if I want to see Jalen Hurts healthily playing in a football game, which there's nothing that could ever be a threat to that, then I want to use game time. I need to use game time. I must use game time. It's very simple. It's just a couple clicks. You hop onto that app and then bam, the phone The phone has your tickets. I don't know how it works, but the tickets are right there in your phone. You scan them, you walk into the stadium, and then you make a memory that you're going to remember for the rest of your life. And that's all through game time. So what you can do today is download the game time app, go to the account tab to create a login and redeem code boy dad for $20 off your first purchase terms apply. Download game time, last minute tickets, lowest price guaranteed. Yeah. Fuck. I need to get, I need to get back at the motherfucking gym. Yeah, dude. I, I, 2023 has got to be a big year of fitness for me. I have the amount of damage I've done to my body this year is shocking. Irreparable. Shocking. <laughs> Irreparable. Yeah. There's no erasing this. Yeah, dude. They say a moment on the hips, a year <laughs> on the fucking, or what is it? A moment on the know. lips, a lifetime on the hips or whatever, dude. No I'm idea. serving a million straight life yeah, sentences yeah, yeah, on my yeah. hips, dude. This dude, shit is I have, miserable. I, I don't think I've had a home cooked meal in a year. <laughs> in one a full year. And I don't know if that's going to be any better. Oh, no. It's probably not going to be any better. Home-cooked meals just have sticks of butter in them or, no, they just t- no. or they're bland as hell. Dude, they say that like a- like any home-cooked meal is better than takeout because, dude, like they're, they're putting all that oil and salt. But and- it's like oil or butter. Like you're getting one or the other. I don't know, man. You think that your mama is cooking some fucking healthy choice meals? No, my my mom is just bad at cooking, so there's no butter or oil. Yeah, same. Or it's my just parents raw food. We just eat the ingredients. I don't know what the fuck like they taught our our parents, but like I feel like 
generations before that, they were just like making full ass pies oh, and yeah. like succulent, buttery, yeah. shiny turkeys. And now like or for, for some time in there, it was like wheat bread hell. Oh, yeah. Where they're just jamming like unsalted, unbuttered food down your throat. Dude, we just eat like like if my mom cooks, we'll have just like chicken and it'd be like chicken breast with just like pepper on it. Yeah. It's like the healthiest thing you can eat. Yes. My parents would do that shit to me too. Yeah, and it yeah. made me hate food for a long time. Yeah. And then I started cooking chicken and I was like, this is easy. And I'm actually way better at it than my mom. <laughs> and, uh, and now I don't cook anymore because our apartment's too, it's just too small, dude. It's just too small. Too tiny to shut up some good I shit. I don't want to talk about it again, but we won't, we won't. I feel like we've been talking a lot about rash and my apartment. That's your life, though. We gotta get. We gotta. That's literally your life. It's like being out topics. of shape. We got three rash. episodes to do this week. We can't be talking about ration at apartment. <laughs> Save that for the third episode. <laughs> yeah. Do you think that if? Uh, do you think that cooking vegetables with a bunch of oil and butter is like uh, worse than not having vegetables at all? I don't think so. I was thinking about that yesterday because I got Brussels sprouts and I was like, dude, this is just straight. Like this is like you're just eating French fries. Yeah. But um, or like some tempura fucking like deep fried ass like asparagus or some shit. Yeah, like that. but That's you're also you got to think about you're having you're still getting all those nutrients from the vegetables. Are you? Yeah, all the vitamins and shit. I don't know, dude. So that's healthy. All the fiber. But yeah, there's like, like even like ordering like when you're like Uber Eats and you're like I'm gonna get something healthy and you order vegetables, you come and you're like this is not healthy. It's a lathered and like like literally a full stick of butter. Yeah, we have these periods of self doubt, dude. That's I, do you think that Andrew Huberman and Lex Friedman have these periods of self doubt like this? No, where they're just grappling with each other, being fucking black belts in jujitsu or whatever podcasters are into these days. Those guys are nuts, dude. We you don't need, you don't want to be like them. You don't want to live like that. They are nuts. Mm -hmm. Do you think that they get like fucked up ever? Never. You think they're, they're like uh, Andrew Huberman and Lex Fried? I was watching like a seven minute video of them wrestling this morning. Oh, really? It was kind of fucking dope. Dude, they, they, those guys don't get fucked up. And if they do, they have like a scheduled, like today's the fucked up day. Yeah. And, and they ha still have to do like six workouts just to have like four beers. They, yeah. They do four of the workouts. Yeah. They yeah. have their beers at 10 in the morning. Every 10 so they miles, can, you get one beer. Their body can process it before yeah. the, they can go back yeah. to sleep. So yeah, they have they're, perfect yeah. sleep. Exactly. They're fucked up day. They're in bed by 10 p.m. Andrew at Huberman the is fucking sleepy ass, bro. Yeah. This dude's addicted to sleep, bro. Try sleeping when you're dead, Huberman. I know, right? Watch Huberman meet fucking chicken fry. Do you think? Do you think people like uh, like those guys who are so like workout centered and like health centered that like? Do you think they like meet someone who like parties all the time and is still healthy as fuck? You think they're just like I hate you so much? No, I think that they have a sense of. Uh, they still more, think they're better. They would definitely think they're better than them. They're like, you don't know what you're doing. You might not be able to tell now, but you're wearing down your neural pathways. And by the time you're 85, you're not going to be able to recite the alphabet backwards. I hope that's true, dude. That you won't be able to recite the no, alphabet backwards? No, so all my boys, they, they drink more than me. And then they come into town and they've got fucking like washboard abs. And I'm like, where is, where does the, where is the beer going? Because for me, I, you know where it's going. It's going straight to the stomach. You got to blame your parents. And I'm like, I can't wait for you guys to get fat. No, your shit is genetic. I look forward to that day. Or their shit's probably genetic. They probably just have genetic six packs. Yeah, but they're all, all their parents are fat. So I'm pumped when they get fat. It's yeah, be thank so God, fun. dude. You ever see a little skinny boy with a fat daddy? Yeah. And you say, oh yeah, yeah you're going to be, be a you fat, yeah, you're gonna be be a fat, fat piece man. of shit. And it's going to hit them hard. Yeah, because like, I'm, I'm at a I'm at a nice steady progression. Or and right now you're like, I need to take the bull by the horns and do some things healthily. You're at least conscious of it. They're just gonna get struck by it. They're gonna get. It's gonna be a rude awakening. It's hilarious. My buddy's when like, dudes just like, turn up fat. Yeah. My buddy like switched over to IPAs. He's like oh, a big it, IPA guy now, and I'm like, dude, it's coming for you, brother. Yeah, I'm like, I can't drink that. I'm he's like, that, fast tracking like 400 himself. calories in one IPA. I'm like, I can't drink that. And he's like, dude, it's like way better than light beer. And I'm like, yeah, you wait and see, man. For what? You wait and see. Is he just turning into a beer snob? Because that should happen. Oh yeah, he lives in. He's been like it's three my buddy Bo in Denver. Oh, he's yeah. a beer snob now. Definitely. And he doesn't snob. know anything about beer. He just has like he's drinking. What is that one? The Lone Ranger. Yep. Yeah, he's just drinking those. Now he's an IPA guy. What a dickhead. I know, he's a dick. I hate him. Uh, by the time that... <laughs> you look directly at the guy. <laughs> you get out of college and you, that's when you become an IPA guy. Not me, bro. Well, because you never went to college. Yeah, I did. No, you never got out of college. I you did. dropped out of college. I got out. No, you dropped out of college. Yeah, by getting out. I mean, guys who successfully complete college. None of them, have, none of them are successfully completing but college. But that's how either. they become IPA guys. 
they drink their they they're like decide they like beers and then they decide that they're like intellectual men who need to add like a little pellet to their personality, a little Boy Scout badge to their personality. And now they're like, I'm an IPA guy. Yeah. I don't know, man. That shit's crazy. I, I can't imagine being able to drink that and just having no, if I drank an IPA, if I drink, like if I switched for one night, I drank only IPAs, I'd wake up 10 pounds heavier and I'd be like shitting tar <laughs> for the next like three weeks. Pure tar. Pure tar. Sticky tar. Yeah. Yeah. Like the La Brea tar pits are bubbling out of your asshole. Like my body just fails me every week. Do you think that boys get fucking fat and have beards and then become IPA guys? Or do you think that boys start drinking IPAs and then it makes them fat and, and they just wear a beard to cover up their fat face? I don't know, man. I, I genuinely don't think that my friends are capable of getting fat right now. Like I just don't think they can. They don't they work out. They, they eat couldn't like get Taco on the Bell for every me. meal. They drink IPAs. They will. They fucking tell them, brother. They, they it's coming for them, dude. I remember them. Sh they 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 used to shit on me all the time because I'd be like drinking White Claws and I'd be like, I can't, I can't, I gotta. You know what you should do is you thin, should take bro. you should take like uh, little TikTok videos of them now. So in like yeah, five yeah, years, yeah, you could yeah, be like, yeah. I got guns in my head, I go. spirits in my head, and I won't go. And it's oh, just them fucking, just turning. Yeah, them getting pounds. fat. As fuck. Yeah, yeah. I'm just like pointing at the camera, like six pack IPA in yeah. hand, and none of them Spirits have the self control either because they're building they're building bad habits. They don't have the self control to like get fit. It's probably they the, don't because they've never gone from being fat to being fit. But the problem is though, you said the dude is working in a bar on he's on his feet. He's on his feet all day, picking up cases of beer. He's on his feet, running yeah. down to the basement, fucking retapping a keg, yeah. running around, stressing his mind out. Like you're sedentary. Yeah, I'm just even when you're there. working, you're I'm just standing sitting. still. Yeah, yeah, I don't move. Even when you're working, you're just sitting in a fucking easy chair. I got this whole get, office I gotta is just easy chairs. Yeah, yeah I gotta, I'm about to throw out my couch. Yeah, I'm about to burn my fucking couch down. <laughs> Dude, it's I the mean, cause it's of my, all my it problems. Is, it is. Yeah, it, they say sitting is the new smoking. They said that? Yeah, they're saying that. They are? My dermatologist just Oh my today. god, yeah. dude. As she was drilling through my chest. <laughs> She was like, she, she goes, she goes, what, where's the juiciest lesion? <laughs> and I was like, well, excuse me? Lesion is a gross I know. Word. I was like, first of all, don't call them lesions. They're not lesions. The American lesions. It's a bump. It's a red bump. It ain't a lesion. It's not a lesion. That shit is nasty. I almost just threw up from thinking of fucking yeah. lesions. Oh. That is very leper-like. Yeah. Jesus, stick your fingers in my lesions and Where can me. we find the juiciest lesion? And then she went with the chest. <laughs> She's going to go one. for the arm, and I'm happy she did. I think the arm would have hurt a lot. Why? All the nerve endings on the back of your arm? Yeah. How do you know you have nerve endings there? Because I know, bro. I where, know everything. Where else do you have nerve endings? Smart my, guy? My cock. Fuck, he's good. Yeah, you got a he's lot of nerve very endings good. on the cock. Fuck yes, bro. On the fucking cock. Speaking of your cock, how the fuck was Buffalo? Buffalo was actually really fun, dude. The shows were really good, except for the last show. The last show was terrible. Because you um, guys were probably just trying to get it, get out of there and go to the Bills game. We were, 100%. But um, we also, there was no one. Like, the, all the shows were around, like, 150 to 250 people at the shows. And then the last show was, like, what, maybe five people there? <laughs> no, it was, like, 30 people there. And people were like, we were getting a lot of like, like pity, pity, pity laughs. How can you tell? Because I think someone was like, we're trying, we're helping you out, man. <laughs> I, I actually, it was like, it, for what it was, it wasn't bad. But uh, I do feel bad when that happens in a way, like for the audience. Because when there's that many people there, the show's going to suck regardless. And then, and then like these two, there was these three dudes there and they're like, yeah, man, we came all the way from uh, Minnesota or something. Where, where did they come? Yeah, they came from, or Michigan. They're like, we came to see you and then we're going to go to the Lions game. And I'm like, it's like you should have gone to any other show, man. Just giving free tickets to another show. Yeah, but did it suck that bad? Oh yeah, it was terrible. I mean, dude, the bills were the bills were playing in an hour. It was. I mean, everyone's like tailgating or going to the game. People were at the tailgates at like noon. Yeah, they care more about football than seeing you. Oh, a hundred percent. So do you, should you just ha not have had that show that day? I don't think it's really up to me. I think it's the club. I mean, the club's going to be open regardless. So that's true. They need to. But throw there was like, on there, what was there? Three waiters well, there. They had a whole team of staff every day, and then that that day, no one was there. Yeah, because everyone's probably asking off. Because yeah, they that's see what happened. You. Even the manager was like, "Oh, I'm not going to be here tomorrow." He's like, "I'm going to the game." 
the whole town was either yeah at least watching the game somewhere. I do. I think the whole town was at the game. Everyone goes. Did there was like any I didn't tailgate? talk to like anyone that wasn't there. No, we didn't get to tailgate. We got there like what was it like five minutes into the first. Yeah. What kind of buzz did you have? None. We were actually dead sober, which sucked. That's tough. How, yeah. Did you get? Did you uh, ramp it up in time? I actually really didn't drink that much there. I had what like so three what like beers? 15, No, I had like beers? three beers. I was trying to, but it was really cold, and I was having a hard time getting into the drinking aspect. The game was a blast. But I, I didn't really get fucked up. Mook was taking like he took like fifteen shots of whiskey. Yeah, <laughs> I was like, I'm cold. Like, let's get fucked up with this. Where were you getting the whiskey from? They were selling Fireball shots. He sold Fireball, and I took half of a nip, and I almost threw up. I was like, this is repulsive. Fireball is nasty. That sugary shit gets. Me. It is so gross, dude. That sugary shit. Uh, yeah, it's it's a tough way. To, I mean, I can't believe you. We used to just drink like fifteen Fireball. Oh shots yeah, that's why I think is I can't drink did? it anymore. Yeah. All fireball? Yeah. Dude, I used to put, I used to like mix fireball with shit. Ugh. Gross. Gross. It is nice for this time of year though. Like it'd be tough to like just chug a bunch of cold ass beers and get colder. It was, it was freezing, dude. Where'd you get that Bill's uh, sweatshirt? Someone brought me it. Really? Yeah. I paid them. He was going to give it to me for free and I was like, no, I'll pay you for it. How much did you pay? hundred bucks. Damn. He was selling it for 175. He like owned like a vintage store. Pretty solid. And I was, he was going to give it to me for free. It's your style. Oh, yeah. Who has a thicker collar today? Probably you. You're definitely collared up more than I am. No, yours is very collared up. Not really. No, it is, dude. It's got four, five, five different stripes of color on it. Yeah, this is one of those sweatshirts that you get, and it's just an instant classic. This is going to be in the rotation <laughs> heavy. I know. I could tell as soon as I saw yeah, it. Yeah, it, it, it's going to be in the rotation all Even the time. Even though it's not an earth tone. It's not no, a muted earth no. tone. That sass is calling card. You rarely wear like a royal blue, something that's part of a, or oh, it's yeah. not fully royal, but any, anything that's part of the actual color wheel, that's not usually you. No, never. But this will be. Oh, this is in the rotation for and sure. And dude, don't forget about that t-shirt I got you while I was on my paradise vacation. Oh, you never bro. brought it. I know. I'm I waiting. still don't know what it is. It's dope, bro. I have a feeling it's not. Why? <laughs> this episode is brought to you by the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration, or NHTSA. Quick reminder from NHTSA. Did you know that driving high is considered driving under the influence? That's right. Driving under the influence of marijuana is against the law in every state, even in states where marijuana is legal. That means that driving high could get you a DUI. And if you think law enforcement officers can't tell when you're driving high, you're wrong. Your friends can tell, your coworkers can tell, even your parents can tell. Everybody can tell, dude, so just don't do it. So what makes you think that law enforcement officers don't know when you're driving high? Nothing should make you think that. You should know. Driving under the influence of marijuana can slow your response time and change how you perceive time and speed. Wow, yeah. And uh, so that, that's, a, that's a reason right there not to do it. So even if you think you're fine to drive when you're high, you're not. Because the bottom line is, if you feel different, you drive different. And driving high is driving under the influence. So remember, drive high, get a DUI. Paid for by NHTSA. Uh, you're like 0 and 3 for gifts. No, you just don't like anything. Did you get did so you think my, did you think the gift that I got for the yeah Christmas was good? Yeah, I thought it was good. It was like the only thing I could like there was like that's the only thing that I think like everyone would enjoy. It, well, it was nice, but I don't Except know. Except no one's going to use that. Yeah, I was about to say, no one's going to use it. I don't know when it. anyone But it was would like dude, it was like it. either that or buy like an Apple Watch or something that I was like, okay, half the people here would already have an Apple Watch if they wanted Apple, an Apple Watch. Apple Watch would be dope. But dude, like, who, who, what? So Big Cat, Big Cat has an Apple Watch. Well, he Brandon could it. buy an Apple Watch if well, he wanted one. Well, that's why it's one. a Yankee swap. Nick could buy an Apple Watch if he wanted one. But that, and then at that point, like, anybody who has a job could get any gift that they wanted. So why give anything, but, anyone Well, anything because, ever? like, getting something, I feel like getting something that's, like, $20 is easier because you're like, okay, I can get something that's, like, unique or cool for 20 bucks. And also, it's only 20 bucks. So it's like, no one's really going to be like, oh, I was expecting something huge out of this. I don't know. Dude. What would you have gotten for the five hundred dollar gift? I feel bad for your parents because you, they anything that they probably get you as a gift, you're probably like, I don't know, mom. Like, no, it's not at all. I'm very grateful. I actually don't even really like getting gifts. Yeah, that's probably why. I tell I told my parents don't get me anything for Christmas. 
Are they going to listen to that? Probably not. Yeah, my and parents. They'll probably end up getting me some like gay ass zip up hoodie. Exactly, and you're going to be such <laughs> yeah. a dickhead. Oh, thanks, mom. <laughs> Fucking throw it to the no, side. No, I actually, I texted my mom and I said, if you get me clothes, don't get any sweatshirts with zippers. Really? Yeah. Because <laughs> they always get me some some like weird quarter zip that I would wear to like a funeral. <laughs> And I'm like, when am I ever going to wear this? Why would you wear a quarter zip <laughs> to a, a funeral? Mark Zuckerberg. I've never funeral? been to a funeral, bro. Really? Never been to a funeral or a wedding. Yeah, what do they wear at those things? I assumed it was just business casual. <laughs> <laughs> just like a fucking early 2000s tech guy. Yeah. Like a hacker's outfit from fucking <laughs> movie Swordfish. What would you have gotten for the $500 gift? Pro- like, don't, no spoilers. Don't say what mine was. Maybe tickets to something. Like tickets to a concert or some shit. But okay, like that. so I was gonna do something like that. I was gonna do like a Delta gift card, something like that, like a five hundred dollar gift card. That'd be pretty but then nice. everyone was like, "Don't get a gift card because that's not gonna make it good for a good show." And then what if I get tickets for something and no one wants that? Maybe like a five hundred dollar bottle of of like Belvedere or some shit like that. Mm. Mm. <laughs> People would use that. Yeah, they would. As a regift, that would be regifted. No. People would use something that's perishable, some something that's like food or some shit like that. I, I, dude, I tried. I was looking for so much shit. I, I went to REI. I was because then I was eventually I was like, now I'm just gonna buy. I'm trying to buy something like what? What would I want for five hundred dollars? Or just something and big found, and dumb. I found these gloves, heated gloves, five hundred dollar gloves, and they're for people who are like climbing Everest. Yeah, that and I would like, have well, been New, dope. I was like, well, New York's freezing. I was like, who wouldn't want their hands to be nice and toasty all so day? So why didn't you get that? And I went to REI and they didn't have them. What even is REI? You don't know what REI... That's what Mook didn't know what REI was either. I don't know what the fuck it is. You don't know what it is? It's like an outdoor store. It's like a chain. Maybe it's like a Massachusetts thing, because they're everywhere in Massachusetts. But there's one in New York, in Soho. It's probably one of the biggest stores in Soho. I'm not much of an outdoorsman like that. I'm not... I. That's why I was like, no one's going to want this. I don't like how outdoors clothes look. Like, anybody that, like, outdoorsy clothes, I don't think that shit's, like... What do you mean? I don't know. I don't think it looks What do you mean by that? I think it looks dumb. I like think LL like Bean? You don't, yeah, you don't like LL Bean? Yeah, L.L. Bean, I think. Oh, looks I love L.L. Bean. Looks kind of dumb. Like, I think that's a lot of just outdoorsy, fucking like Gorp Core, fucking like ski wear, like hiking boot, hiking wear. I think all that shit kind of looks dumb as fuck. I think it looks cool. Do you? Mm-hmm. Well, I'll get you a nice bubble jacket. Well, no, I don't want Arcs. that. Well, what do you want? What do you, you don't have to get me anything. I'll get you something. No, I'll get you something. <laughs> I dare you to get me something. I will. I have to go Christmas shopping this week. The thing I got. And I have to go birthday. It's my mom's birthday on Wednesday. Oh, my fucking God, dude. Parents just don't understand. My life is a prison, dude. <laughs> her, I have it so hard. Your mom has a hard. Her birthday's in the <laughs> middle of Hanukkah. She probably uh, yeah. gets her gifts cut in a half. You no. want to sing it with me? Baruch Atah. I don't fucking know, dude. I, do, I, I don't know what that do. is. No? No. What do you mean? You guys don't celebrate? Hanukkah? Yeah. No. Why not? Why don't we celebrate Hanukkah? You're Jewish. Oh, you're Jewish? Bro, I'm half Jewish. <laughs> so? We're celebrate not like, three and a half we're days. We're not like, we're not like religious Jewish. But you don't celebrate- We used to celebrate Hanukkah as like, a, like my dad would try and make us do it. And then everyone was like, what the fuck are we doing? <laughs> <laughs> These hats are funny, dad. Yeah. You're like, take this hat I don't off understand this song. Well, it doesn't even fit around my head. Candles don't make sense. We have- <laughs> Why would you get me a hat pictures? that I'm not going to wear? <laughs> <laughs> this doesn't fit, Dad. Pulling Dude, did you ever have stomach. any? Have you ever? Do you have anyone like in your family who ever like would be like they'd like reject a gift? Be like, why'd you get me this? Like, I know you said I would do that. I've never done that. Have you ever like had? Have you ever seen someone do no, that? No, because we're just polite, normal yeah, people. Yeah, yeah. One of my younger cousins did that hard one time. She was like really young when she did it, though. What to my she, mom? What? What do you mean? My mom got her like pajamas, and she was like, "Why would you get me pajamas when you know I'm getting them for Christmas?" <laughs> My Wait, mom what? was like, what the fuck? <laughs> my How mom old was got, she? Like, probably like five. I don't know. It's hilarious because at that age, kids do not know what like no, they're supposed no, no. to be nice about. Yeah, it was it was wild. I remember like like my grandma getting like my younger cousins like certain gifts and I like knew that the gifts sucked. And like the younger cousin was like too young to like know to be like, yes, thank you. Oh, yeah, because kids get bummed. Oh, my gosh. Cry. Thank they probably you. Get, there's the tears gone. It's like, why would you give me this? <laughs> yeah, a yeah, necklace? Yeah. yeah. I don't like necklaces. Wow. Okay. Oh, right. Thanks. I actually wanted video games. And then they instantly go over to the tree looking for another gift. They're like, that can't be No, the there has thing. to be something else for me. <laughs> yeah. 
No, that can't be it's it. Behind the tree, maybe? It's a joke if. Yeah. Shaking the tree <laughs> to see if something else falls out. I'm trying to think of uh, the worst gift I ever. I already told you about this. The one that I got, my grandma got me it. It was a, uh, it was a Wizards of Waverly Place magic wand with like Selena Gomez's voice in the, inside of it. And my grandma like didn't know that's what it was. And I just became the laughing stock of Christmas. The entire family. Everyone was, like, was just howling laughing. Hit it again, hair. Yeah. <laughs> That's what it was. And it would be like, make this pimple disappear in Selena Gomez's voice. Crazy that you were. That but also, I wizard. grew up in a family with all girls. So it was probably. I just would get flamed on a lot. By the girls? Oh, For constantly. not being masculine enough? It's for, like, bitch, you're a girl. Yeah. What do you mean I'm they not masculine enough? They would rip me. You're born a woman. Yeah. I used to get the bullied fuck? in the house a lot. By the, by the ladies? Well, it would be like in Christmas. It would be like my cousins would, they used to live in Illinois, and then they would come down to Massachusetts, and we all go to my grandparents, and it would be like 20 women in the house, and then like me and my dad. There's a lot of pressure on you. Yeah. You have to like keep your ha- family's name alive. I know. Crazy that your uh, grandmom gave you a Waverly Place toy. Oh, yeah, I know, right? All things considered. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I don't really give a fuck, bro. I think people like know exactly like what apartment we live in and what address I live, where my address is. <laughs> yeah, they I might as people, well send you something nice. I have people like uh, that live like above us, like yell my name, like yeah, on like a Saturday night when it's laid out. They'd be like, "Sass, come on out, man!" <laughs> and I'm like, "Jesus Christ!" You should go out with them. Never. Why not? I have people like I'll, I'll like I like opened the door the other day and some I was like going into our apartment and there was a kid stuck outside. And I let him in and he called his buddy and he was like, yeah, yeah, I'm in. He's like, little sass, just let me in. <laughs> and I was he like, he didn't he said nothing to me. That's just so much and weirder. Like, right. And I, I got to go up fucking 15 flights of stairs and we're just like walking next to each other. But for I know you minutes. didn't even try to make small talk with him. And I respect that. Absolutely the hell out of that. Out Absolutely of not. Yeah. I feel like the pressure to be nice to strangers who, who like put me in a situation like that. And you just don't give a fuck. You'll make it. You're not about to like feel awkward. So someone else doesn't have to. You'll just be like, yeah, we'll both just feel awkward and walk up these steps because I ain't talking to you. Yeah. I'll usually I'll, sometimes I'll fall back. Start going slow. Check your phone. Yeah. Act like you've just remembered something and have to start walking <laughs> yeah, the other direction. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's sneakily embarrassing having to turn around while you're walking in public. I do that today. Having to it's change mortifying. directions. Yeah, it's mortifying. Because then it's, it's like, like what did they're I, like, oh, this guy's visiting. He you like live start in New to York. like talk out loud yeah. to yourself. Like, wait, I forgot to. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then just like turn around. Yeah, I like do that you today. want people to see that you're realizing in your head. So you like act. Yeah, you because like, you're, you're walking and then also you just have to make a hard. 180 like what it happens to be in airports all the time i'll just be wandering a certain direction in an airport and have to like turn around and i'll be self-conscious to myself yeah. about just the fact that i had to change directions yeah dude it's embarrassing getting lost it's or terrible going the wrong way or just like the first time you're trying to find your way like my first month in new york i either went the wrong way or like got on the wrong so like the wrong train or like every single day on the transit there would be a problem and i'd feel dumb about myself Transit's tough and it's tough as a man dude us as men, we're supposed to have our directions on lock. Oh, big time. And that was by the age of my life where there are other men who just would be like, we'll drive somewhere and they'll like have memorized the directions. They know where you're going. I used to think that was so impressive. It's, it is impressive. Yeah, well, it's impressive parents, as fuck. My parents would like know where to go in the town, even though we lived there for like 20 years. <laughs> yeah. It's like, like, oh, like, I know a shortcut. How the fuck do they know how to get there? What the fuck? Without pulling up the GPS. I remember when I first got my license, dude, I had to pull up the GPS for places that I'd like been a hundred times. So I was like, actually, I have no idea how to drive there. You still might as well. You might as well pull up ways just to see if there's any police Cops. on the way. Yeah. Yeah. This episode is brought to you by SoCo. That's right. Sazerac. SoCo. Come on. Whether you're at a festival tailgate or relaxing after finals, SoCo is the ready for anything whiskey. It's packed with flavor and makes a mean SoCo sour. Am I right, Sass? Yeah, SoCo Black has just the right balance of sweetness wrapped in smoke flavor for those who like their whiskey bold. Bold. Try a SoCo Sour Shot today. They're easy to make. How do you make them? One third of SoCo plus two thirds sour mix. Done. SoCo is so tasteful. Just the right mix of sass and class. That's my kind of whiskey. Okay. I get it, because your sa- your name is Because my name is Sass. Yes, times change, and so does what we drink. Make a more tasteful choice and choose SoCo. Have a nice SoCo sour this Christmas, or just a nice SoCo black. 
wrapped in that smoky flavor under the Christmas tree by the fire. It'll mix in perfect. Click the link in the description below to see more cool stuff from Soko. He's sass, and I'm class. Exactly. Just like Soko. Just like Soko. Yeah. The <laughs> Waze is uh Waze is a little much. Waze lies to you. Have you ever been on have you ever had like an Uber driver with the Waze on and it's like DJ Khaled's voice coming through? No. Okay. You know, you can like change the voice. Yeah. You yeah. can change it to like a drill sergeant, I think. Or like the TikTok guy, turn left. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I, it, it's weird, dude. I don't, I don't really fuck with that. But Waze lies to you. Like Waze always has a faster time than like Apple or Google. Yeah. And it's because they like make it a sooner time. And then as you go, the time they goes up. up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They probably don't put traffic. They probably don't add the traffic in. Dude, the Apple Maps is the best one by a mile. I'd never have understood why people have like Google Maps downloaded on their phone. People are obsessed with it. And, so well, people weird. are addicted to Waze. Well, I never thought Waze was good. I, Waze always pissed me off because, like, I don't need to know every time there's a fucking cop every thirty seconds. I do, because you don't break the law. It's because you're, it's because you're smoking while you're high. <laughs> I'm smoking while I'm. You're high? driving while you're high. You Have you seen like that you're commercial? While you're high. Have you seen that commercial, dude? No. This one got me. This one like made me anxious. It was giving me like PTSD. They're like, it's this. It's like it's like from like a POV. And it was playing all weekend when I was at the hotel and they'd go and, and he'd like go up. He'd be like, hey, mom, how's it going? And she goes, I can tell. And then like it would like go through all these scenarios like him pulling up to like the family cookout and the grandpa's like, I can tell. And that, oh, dude, it was like, it made me like uncomfortable. And then like the cop pulls him over and he's like, I can tell. And they're like driving high is a DUI. That's hilarious. But that shit, like, it, from the POV, dude, like, you don't have to put me through that. It is. The, no, nothing is worse like than someone noticing that you, you <laughs> yeah. smoke weed. Even if yeah. you're, like, in a state where it's legal and you have full impunity to be smoking. And yeah. so I was like, you guys just smoke? It's like, no. Yeah. That shit made me really anxious. When we went out to a, a, a restaurant in, uh, in Los Angeles after we recorded, we, uh, like... Went out to just like get get dinner afterwards, and I think that like we walked into the restaurant and like our table wasn't ready, so they they like had us stand in some area, yeah. And the lady just stared at us. There was no seats for us. It was like an area with like a just a bunch of wine bottles set up. We just stood there, and the lady just stared at us. And I was like, "Are you worried that we're gonna like steal something?" Was I there for this? I don't no, think so. This, no, this is this week. This, this, oh, this past oh, oh. week. And she, I was like, you are like, are you worried we're going to steal something? And she's like, no, I'm not worried about that. But I guess, I don't know. If, I mean, we did the, just smoke before the, we went in there. Yeah. Isn't and, weed legal in? Yeah, it's 100%. And it's yeah. like California. She just like, yeah. said, go stand over there. So we stood over there and then she was just grilling us. And we're like, why is she And then she like That's sat so us. Weird. It was, and it's like cold out. Yeah, and she and like sat us outside. in like the outdoor area. Oh, like I think she was like trying to like shit on us. And she was like, no, I'm not worried about that. And just like stared us down. Ooh. That's annoying. That weird. Yeah, she just dicked us. She should have beaten fucking some ass. Shitted on us. But then, like, like, you need to start taking names. Bro. Oaks came and met up with <laughs> yeah. us, and he was like, "Did you guys just smoke?" Oh, really? And whenever you hear from Oaks, did you bro. just reek? I don't know. I don't think so. Maybe a little bro, bit. Our eyes probably. You look definitely stand. No, we were with Edwin. Edwin's eyes get high, bro. Edwin looks the highest yeah, whenever we're out. Oh, really? Yeah. Uh, dude, Obes was telling a story. He like fucking hasn't been able to shoot. He's a dude that shoots he for Diddy. Fucked up his hand. He right? fucked up his hand. Yeah, he yeah, was yeah. telling the story about how he fucked up his hands. He said like <laughs> he like fell on some glass and it hit both of his hands. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But he was like horse playing in a pool, so like the pool oh, just yeah, 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 filled yeah, yeah, yeah. up with blood. <laughs> That's fucked up, dude. I mean, I would have terrible anxiety about filling a blood, a filling pool up a pool with, with blood. blood, and you like, like they, you get out of the pool, you're like that's all me. Yeah, and they have to drain the pool. Like yeah, you might yeah, as well yeah. have taken a shit in the pool. Do you have to drain it or do they just clean it? I don't know. I thought he was with Diddy. I didn't know who's his Thanksgiving, but yeah, it would have been way worse if it was like a Diddy party or something. Like that. Oh, I thought he Diddy. was with Diddy too. No, yeah, yeah. I thought that too. No, he's with like one of his eighteen brothers. That's crazy. <laughs> Which is not, but I don't know. Talk I about think. a buzz kill. Yeah, he said he like didn't want to go to the hospital, and they're like, yeah. no, like you ha you're bleeding in the pool. Yeah, you gotta go to the hospital. <laughs> it looks like a that. shark attack in the fucking pool right now, dude. That sucks. Have they have to up? drain it because like I'm, I'm, there's no way I'm swimming in a fucking pool, big cat. I, I have, I have to. I'm sorry, I don't. Want to come, why, come. Why are people online saying Jalen Hurts broke his collarbone, Roan? Why? Why? Oh no, I is don't that know real? if this is true. <laughs> I just searched it and everyone's saying like, oh my God, what happened? Why? Are they actually saying I hope that? it's not true, but why, Roan? This is stressing me the fuck out. I'm sick. Just 
What the fuck? What the fuck? Is anyone saying this? You know what? You guys keep going. Oh, no. I'm gonna Mookie. Just, uh, I'm not gonna... <laughs> Are they actually what? saying that? There's, there's a couple verified accounts, but that could be. No, it was on that play that we talked about the I other know, day. I know, because they landed the on example. him. No, 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 no. Oh, that would be devastating. Oh, no. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, no, yeah, no. Jalen Hurts. Oh, called this was on. literally the only thing I'd ever interrupt this podcast for. I thought that was appropriate. Like, yeah, why? No, that's Why? Good. This person says Jalen Hurts likely has a broken collarbone, which will end his regular season per source. <laughs> And the and the odds and the and the line against the Cowboys went from one to three. Everyone kept on being like, "Something's up, something's up." Oh my god! But they're saying it's a fake. The one the one has been deleted already. They're saying it's a fake chip, fake blue check mark. Why are people saying this? So that's not right. That's not right. That's mean spirited. Even dude, I'm putty right now. So even if you're trying to manipulate what? me, what do you mean? In this rumor, oh, dude, just tweeted it. Big. No, he has a, have, he has a uh, yeah, he has a future. I win two hundred thousand dollars. The Eagles yeah. win the Super Bowl. <laughs> I care more than anyone. Get your head it's the only way for me to get back to even this year. It's a Twitter blue subscriber. Yeah, this is, these are Twitter blue guys. These are Twitter blue right, guys. So are we okay? Where's Stella I'm Blue over Twitter lot, blue? I'm dude. seeing a lot of. But tweets. then people are saying waiting for news. Apparently, there is a shoulder. Oh my God! But he was throwing after that. He was throwing injury. dimes after that. I'm seeing a Phil shit Rivers ton played of an tweets. AFC Championship game on a torn ACL. Okay, fuck, fuck, dude. How I long does a collarbone take to I, heal? I, that's what I'm saying. Why can't they just fucking time. put it back together? Th just glue it together. A Get some silly time. putty. A collarbone is like an injury you get when you're yes. like wrestling yes. with your friends yes. when you're like 12 years old in the dude, backyard. My mom found out that she got a broken collarbone when she was a kid, and she never even knew. And she's got a sick <laughs> arm. And she, my mom, fucking she can throw slings it. 70 it. Yards. She slings it. My mom <laughs> is like, like Kyle dude, Bowler dude, throwing from his knees. This is like when uh, Derek Rose tore his ACL and like. Callers would call into Chicago Sports Radio and be like, I tore my ACL. I was playing 18 holes like six months later. <laughs> it's like, yeah, a uh, little different than talking a basketball and playing in the NBA. Yeah, he's in the playoffs right now. This, <laughs> there's no six month window for him to. This is terrible. Why are people saying this? This can't be. This can't be good. There's a shit ton of people saying it, but it could I just know. Be a rumor. I, I, I looked. But if the odds are changing, that's kind of a huge thing. I just got like a shit. I don't think they changed the odds no, for Chef, fake Chef tweets. Just tweeted it. What do you say? What do you say? Uh, uncertain to play Saturday versus the Cowboys versus because of a sprained shoulder. Sprained shoulder uh, we can deal with. Sprained shoulder we can deal with. Sprained fine. shoulder's fine. Hurt. Yeah, he was hurt in the exact play that we were talking about uh, when he got tackled on it. But yeah, sprained from Shefter. Nothing timetable wise. <laughs> what the fuck? I keep on getting shivers, dude. And this, this is, is exactly what I thought would happen. I knew that the, 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 the Bears playing the Eagles. It was going to be bad. Garofalo said sprained shoulder. Sustained a shoulder injury. But you think today. they're just saying that? Gardner because, Minshew's yeah, you really good. Up, you cover up a break. Gardner Minshew's <laughs> yeah, really good. Yeah, you think they're just covering it up? Gardner Minshew's really good. Yeah? Nick Foles good. Fuck. Gardner Minshew could be Nick Foles. Fuck. He's not Jalen Hurts. Though, I have. Sure. <laughs> fuck. I've basically already spent the winnings on this ticket. No, no, I don't no, know what to do. No, 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 this is no, so no, bad. It's time to cash no, out. No, no, no. This no. is so bad. No, don't, no, 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 no. No, this, is, this can't happen. Right. We need to fucking manifest this. Big Cat, before you leave. Have this you, can't happen. Have you ever had to uh, feel the embarrassment of having to change directions in public? Oh, yeah. Do you the ever? fake phone call. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. You just see, you, when you got to you just pop out your phone, like, what? Oh, okay. All right. I'll be right there. Back there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Just and turn just around. Sprint back That's a smart oh, yeah. Every I had time. to do it today. When I was walking to the dermatologist, I went, I went like three You went to the dermatologist? The yeah. We already, we already oh. touched on it a couple of times. And then I, well, I we just We have four shows where we around. talk about Sass's skin. <laughs> it's, all we talk about is my skin in my apartment. It's sweet. That's the extent of this show. Yeah. You'd either do the phone, fake phone call or you do one of these where you're walking and you just go, Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Like, oh, you act. Something. You like act for the people oh, around you. Like yeah. you just had an idea. You yeah, show yeah, everybody like, oh, that you just had an right. idea. I am going the wrong way, but like yeah. very quickly and yeah. 
All right, that tried to. I tried to. That I tried to use that to make me feel better, and it didn't work. I do not feel better. This is literally I, I, my I, biggest. I, this is my biggest fear. This is my worst nightmare. I literally thought about it, and I was scared to even Bears think about it. Ruining this ticket is so. He tweeted perfect. and he said the Eagles and Jalen Hurts agent Nicole Lynn said they. He's got an all female team. Shout out Jalen. Shout out Jalen. Shout out Jalen. Yep. That's he just bought solid. Louis bags for his whole offensive line. Oh, I love Jesus. it. Did they not get the Louis bags? They could protect him more. With the bags not nice enough. Imagine if. They were like the fake ones you buy on Canal Street. Oh my god! And all his offensive linemen. What the fuck, fuck is this? Guy. We're not blocking god. for him. Yeah, they all step aside. He what? said they don't believe it's a long term injury. <sighs> Who said that? Schefter. We need to win one more game to clinch, and then we, it, dude, if they win one more game, he could sit out for a month. He doesn't have to play until mid January. You think they can win without him? If this Eagles you, line man. gets three to seven right? against the Cowboys, I might have to just put $200,000 on Gardner Minshew. Yeah. And just get it right now. Yeah. And then get out. No, Holy no, no. Don't get out. No, 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 no. You might want to get, get out. Get you out. might want to get out. Get it. What? Everyone's just saying it? No, fuck. I'm so scared. I'm sorry, Ron. I didn't want to be in here to say this. This is so... This is so... Yeah, Schefter just read again and say there's a real chance that Garden... <sighs> That Gardner Minshew could start Saturday versus the Cowboys. My insides are vibrating. This is oh Who's man. The, uh, Cowboys lost this week. I'm starting to stress eat. Yeah, give me half of that. What happens if they lose? Yeah, I have Snickers bar. What happens if they lose today? <laughs> Philly. Or they lose next week? Fine. Nothing. They yeah, just have okay. to win one, one of their game. one more game, and one they have game. home field throughout. One more game. Damn. You gotta win one more game. They'll Three be games fine. left. They'll be fine. Win one game. One more game. Yeah, they'll be fine. We might have to start Roan's mom at quarterback. Her, shoot, she, if Sean can handle a collarbone, it's my mom. <laughs> Dude. I don't think you can play through a broken collarbone. That this, like holds no, your shut up, whole shut arm up, together. Shut up. You could you, you could you can we'll barely take your collarbone. You can barely. No, I'm saying you I'm never, no, you I'm never saying you can I'm, barely podcast with a biopsy. I'm saying I'm saying that I think that he probably rash. didn't break his collarbone because if he did, he wouldn't have been able to finish the game. If he did, we're taking your collarbone forcibly out of your body. I'm like fine the with that. Who took the heart this out of fine people with that. You don't even need though. the collarbone. Your bill's looking good now, though. <laughs> the bills are looking good. Okay. Fuck this, you. This is also the part of the season, NFL season, that really fucks me up. I'm not a smart person. The fact that there are is a bye week that potentially the Eagles could get. If you ask me right now, when did the playoffs start? I'd be like two months. No. It's like three weeks. Yeah. But it's two months in my head. It's like no, it's so many weeks. right now. Yeah. There's no time to get back from There's injuries. so many bowl games and Christmas and New Year's in between that it feels like it's forever. You can't get back. The first playoff game is like the 14th. That's like that's soon. That's one, two, three weekends before. Yeah. Then. Jesus Christ. I want to cry. All right. This is bad news. I'm pissed off, but also thankful that you came in. Yeah, I, because I, I would have sucked if you had missed everything and walked out and been like, what? Jalen Hurts is dead? <laughs> this is like those old school. They, they, it used to happen like old school internet. Uh, like every August, there would be the rumor like Drew Brees got hit by a car and lost both his legs. Yeah, and It yeah, would yeah. actually pick up traction for like an hour. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was yeah, always yeah. awesome. You could, you could start that good ass yeah, shit yeah. back then. Yeah, they'd always be specific too. Like Drew Brees got hit by an Audi <laughs> trying to cross the street, broke both his legs. The license plate number is. Yeah. All right. Fuck. Thank you, Big Cat. I'm, I'm scared. Uh, I'm that, scared. That, that I'm going to go talk sucks. to Max. That sucks. Talk to, let's talk to some doctors. Yeah, yeah. Let's, let's link up with a fucking doctor or something like that. And let, let's link up. Oh, God. Did that get in? Did his, it was his audio in? Yeah. Perfect. This video is going to, this, this one's going to skyrocket. <laughs> Featuring Big Cat. This, uh, there, there might be a microphone in front of this camera. Oh, I don't know. Is it? Let's talk about Ridge Wallet. Okay. Ridge Wallet. It holds okay. up to 12 cards plus room for cash. It's a slim, ultra slim, minimalist wallet. There's over 30 colors and styles, including carbon fiber and burnt titanium. It It's made with RFID blocking technology that protects you from digital pock pickpocketers. I love the Ridge Wallet, and I love the minimalist style, especially my carbon fiber wallet. That's my go-to. It might as well only be two colors, because the only two colors I care about are carbon fiber and, and burnt, burnt titanium. titanium. He's carbon fiber, I'm burnt titanium. Yep, <laughs> that's what they call us. They also have a new key case that keeps what? your keys organized. Is this secures, new? This is new. It secures anywhere from two to six keys. It organizes your keys in a compact silhouette and fold out for easy access. If you were curious about two of those colors that that key case might come in, you guessed it, carbon fiber and burnt titanium. Get the Move, best- Take a picture of us. I want to remember this Ridge Wallet ad. I want to remember this moment. 
Send Get it, the best offer with my I'll link. Put it on the fucking grid. Ridge.com slash ad. That is Ridge Wallet. You can get your Ridge wallet with my link, ridge.com slash dad. Makes for a great stocking stuffer. Go pick one up before the holiday season really kicks into gear this weekend. Come All on. righty. Come on. Ridge wallet. Ridge wallet. But what even is a sprained shoulder? Fuck. Oh, that's what it is. He doesn't even throw, bro. He runs. He's a runner. If it, but what if that affects his ability to run? <clears throat> bro. He lowers his shoulder. That's like what he runs with. He's a fucking truck. Lower, lower the other shoulder. No. He likes to lower that shoulder. Is their backup any good or no? Yeah, Gardner Minshew's actually good as hell. Not as good as Jalen Hurts, though. Bitch. No one's as good as Jalen Hurts. Yeah, exactly. He's not as good as the MVP of the league. <laughs> this is like uh, right uh, when Carson Wentz got Yeah, hurt, I was about to say that. I mean, Nick good Foles. outcome. But, but uh, I don't know. That I don't want to rely on that. that ain't good. Why do you think we'll know? But yeah, do, do, what me and Tyler were saying, you think they would even say if it was a if he was like if his collarbone was in half right now, they would be yeah. like, yeah, it's looking like just a sprained shoulder. We'll get back no, to you guys in a couple of days. Gonna, you think? Uh, yeah, I think they're they gonna keep this I think they're going to put it off for a bit. Dude. I think that, yeah, he's not playing this week. Weeks. He's not going to play this week. He's not going to play the rest of the regular season. Probably, though. You don't but think like he's going to play? And, the Cowboys aren't bad. No shit, bro. And yeah. we beat them when they had their backup in. We beat them when they had Cooper Rush and not Dak Prescott. Fuck. It's going to be a good game, though. Christmas Eve, dude. All all's I want for Christmas is the Bears to beat the boys. <laughs> Santa, I'm begging you. Don't let Jalen Hurts be hurt, dude. Oh, man. Jalen doesn't hurt. That's what I want his name to be. Yeah, Jalen Hurt. I'm like Jalen Hurt, bro. I'm like Jalen Hurt for the rest of the season. Tweet that. That would, that would pick up some traction. Yeah, get, well, you getting your ass beat. <laughs> some traction, some track marks on your back from getting stomped out, bro. Did the did any of the odds change for the? Yes. Maybe I'll throw a yes. future. Maybe I'll throw a future out the, there. The MVP odds changed a lot, or I guess I mean from place to place. But keep people kept on all day. They've been like something's up. It's like what the fuck could be up? It's so weird that they can just hold that information. Oh shit, dude! Uh, the bills are the, the bills are the top. Uh, Dogs. Top pick right now. Shut the fuck up, pussy. Actually, this is the perfect time to bet on the Eagles. Odds go up. You get back in. Odds are 430. 430? Plus 430. For what? For them to win the Super Bowl. The Eagles? Yeah. Well, right now. Oh, that's that's a long shot. Well, the number one is plus 350. I put $10,000 on it right now. How much did you put on it for the in the beginning of the season? I didn't bet on that. I bet on them to win the NFC East, but not even for a lot of money. Did you? Did you? Do you have a future for them to win the Super Bowl? No. Oh. I'm not addicted to gambling. I just <laughs> like are, to bro. do it as a hobby. You're fully in. Do not joke about that. I know. I'm sorry. That's not even. That's not even that's close not even to funny. funny. That's not even, <laughs> funny. <laughs> it's not even <laughs> close to funny. Dave. No one <laughs> Dave. No one should joke about that. Sass is gambling. <laughs> <laughs> Um, this weekend, my, uh, in-laws came up. Yeah. My brother-in-law, the mm-hmm. one that I'm going to buy a cow for. Good country folk. Damn. Okay. Rick Ross. <laughs> a Buy-in boss is cow. one who guarantee we go <laughs> eat. I spend more money on my cow's hooves <laughs> than you spend on your wife. That's probably true. <laughs> <laughs> I watched that video three times a day. I, we were you literally were watching it all oh, week. Oh, Really? Yeah. I watch I it caught, all the time. That, I ain't bought her, I caught her. Because I am blessed with a fee. I bless her with who I'm best to be. <laughs> it was she with because I'm blessed with a fee. She's with who I'm blessed to be. <laughs> we definitely can't play that Diddy song, right? No. Was, uh, Which one? Song? Dude, it was a throwback from one of his shows. We were watching the Gilly video on this. Just oh, yeah, we can, we can play repeat. that. All right, I'm Because that's them singing a yeah, song. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who? Is uh, it like Wallow? No, it's the dudes from uh, <laughs> like Making the Band. Singing a song, a Rick Ross song. No, they're it's like they're in like a it's like a dance it's like a fucking rap <laughs> battle, but they're like singing R and B songs awesome. to each other. I'm texting it to you now. Uh, it's it's awesome. But yeah, we watched that Gilly video and this probably a hundred times in the two days we were there. The Gilly video is amazing. And what a boss is one who guarantee we go and eat. Then why didn't we resign with Meek, man? You're yeah. lucky Meek started fucking with them white boys. <laughs> yeah. You got him in a 1914 Harriet Tubman type deal. <laughs> 1914. <laughs> Did you get it? I'll just play it here. 
a Harriet Tubman joint. Do you want it? Or yeah, I, I, I don't think I've gotten it. Oh, it's yeah, not coming through for take, me. Take. Oh, no, I just got it. I just got it. It's just a banger. I'd rather be dead. This is a rap battle? It's Diddy's show. <laughs> Dude, what the fuck is this? It's unnatural. You belong to me. They're all laughing. <laughs> yeah, because they're like, damn, how are we getting served like this? <laughs> you see how Diddy doesn't break a smile? Diddy looks furious. He's like, why did I, what did I get myself no, into? No, he's like, no, these brothers are spitting. Like, you, you can tell he's taking yeah. it dead serious. Because the dude next to him is clapping. <laughs> oh, look at the you white boy. I got the white the dude. Right. That is the white dude, like eight feet tall. He's standing on a couch. <laughs> The way they all hit. That's to awesome. Fucking, what is that from? It's from making the band, band season four when they tried to make like an all like uh, R and B group or whatever. That's this crazy. made me go back and watch so many clips of it. <laughs> I gotta bro. see that. It's so fucking sick because they are they're all in the house. Like in the early making the bands, they literally had like the dude Enes, who's a battle rapper, he was like battling against dudes. They were like fucking rapping against each other, and uh, like it was successful. And then they try and bring it back with the R and B dudes, but they can't like battle rap each other yeah, so yeah, they yeah. like sing battle each other yeah but the way they're looking dead in the other guy's eyes being like oh the <laughs> yeah, that's hilarious <laughs> like bucking at him like they're about to hit him that's so funny so hard and sweet battles yeah that's awesome singing battles that's kind of what versus battles were remember during covid when yeah. like there were there were like massive versus battles no those were sweet as fuck awesome. and i feel like versus sold for like Twitter money, like versus was like a massive. It would be I don't like think I've ever seen it. It's like uh, it would be like two. It would be like Snoop Dogg against like fucking like P Diddy or something like yeah. that. And they would both like they go back and forth like doing their best hits ever. Oh, and so like shit. one would do a hit and That's one would cool. do a hit. It was very cool. That sounds good. And they would like all talk shit to each other like these. That's awesome. I, I gotta go back and watch that. Those were very. They were they were a good time, but it was just funny to have dudes like. Yeah, singing their song like it's face. not a ba- it's like not that was a like battle that song. Scene in fucking Pitch Perfect. Yeah, it really was. Like Pitch Perfect. <laughs> yeah, Pitch Perfect probably saw like making the band season four. Probably like, we could do really, That's like probably this. exactly what it. What came if we from? brought the, this to the white folks? <laughs> yeah, West Side Story vibes. Yeah, yeah it really it's was the death. Sharks and the Jets. But yeah, we watched that in Gilly. Just nonstop. <laughs> Dude, how are you oh. feeling, Ron? What do you mean? You know what I mean. Phone just buzzed. It's probably Jalen, dude. Fuck you, Ron. Cash out now. <laughs> Bro, they're broken. taking. They're saying my arm might be coming off. <laughs> yeah, this Catch shit is out, hanging by a limb. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh fuck! What happened? Nothing. Anyway, my brother-in-law or whatever was in town. The one who I'm buying a cow for. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, why are you buying him a cow? <laughs> he wants one. Oh, okay. Is that like a Christmas present? I mean, I'm not getting it yet, but eventually, I got to get him a cow. Oh, okay. But you said you need to buy him in twos, right? Oh yeah, you got to. I need a little two for one deal you need for, my, two. for my cow. But I went to, uh, we went to like a bar in uh, Williamsburg. Mm-hmm. Oh, sorry, bro. I'm just checking in on the Eagles news. <laughs> what are you finding out? It's not looking good. Fuck you, dude. What are you finding out? Or are you in one of your little tweet deck fucking. Uh... Bro, I'm, uh, I'm checking in on the news. What does it say? I will say it is a little weird. Schefter went with a real with a weird. Usually he's got the he's got the good graphics. This one's a little low. It's low fi. It's low fi. I noticed that too. I was like, is that on my think, phone? Is he hacked? Honestly, like this it, isn't even what this isn't even like his font or anything. He never has the at right there. He probably jacked it from somebody or like some new interns trying to, or he downloaded it somewhere where he doesn't have good internet. I don't know. That shit's happened to me before. That it, does happen. Yeah, it's infuriating when it does happen. I'm a little more worried about Schefter than I am Hertz. Shefty, is everything all right, bud? <laughs> yeah. What's up with this lo-fi picture? Is everything all right, buddy? Also, why do people suddenly have square profile pictures? What the fuck? ESPN has a square profile picture? Jalen Hurts is uncertain to play Saturday versus the Cowboys due to a strained shoulder that he suffered during Sunday's win Is it a strain or a sprain? Strained. Is it strained oh, sprain, or sprain? sprain, sprain, sprain. Same thing, bro. No, they're 
they're various degrees of the same thing. And they're both a tear. Like a fucking sprain is a tear and a strain is a tear. And a tear is a tear. Does it piss you off seeing the people being like, bro, he's so scared to play the Cowboys? <laughs> Who's saying that? If you look at any post, all the comments say he's scared. No. I No, no he's not scared. That shit would piss me off because it's like they're going to destroy the Cowboys. If he, if he plays. Yeah. If he doesn't play, it's going to be hard as fuck to beat the Cowboys. Cowboys suck, bro. The Cowboys are frauds. No, the Cowboys. You know who are frauds? The Cowboys. No, they're not, dude. Don't say that. We Cowboys take, are frauds. We need to take the Cowboys seriously. You know who's not frauds? 49ers. Ooh, me and Mook were talking about that. No, you're just recycling Danger. Mook's takes. Danger. No, Danger. Mook just gave you some takes, <laughs> yeah. and you're just fucking regurgitating what he yeah. said. I just read a couple tweets so I could spit that. Fred Warner. Charvarius Ward. I don't know, man. I'm worried. But I want to ride. I'm going to ride Javon that same bet Kinlaw. as you. How much are you? How, what, what's your payout? On what? Your bet for them to win the division. NFC East? Yeah. Probably like 18000 How much did you put down? No, not it's, it's not even anything like that. It's probably like $1,000. Oh, shit. Not even, probably. So you, it wasn't like a Phillies bet? No. No. Oh. Phillies bet was different. And now I'm kind of trying to use the karma of not making a massive bet on them to be like, if they win, they win. Like, that's what I'm secretly telling myself in my head. You think if they get to the Super Bowl, well, how, much are you gonna, how much are you going to put on them to win? Whatever I have. <laughs> Every, so you're going to put everything on it? Yeah, whatever I have. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever's available, the maximum amount that I can put on it. Yeah, max, I'm gonna put a mattress max. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm gonna bet eighteen million dollars on. That I think I might do that. Bowl. Yeah, right now, everything. You should put the house on it. Uh, but what if he's hurt, bro? I think. Ah! I think if he's hurt, dude, we could maybe. I think they still might win. I think it might be like one of those situations, like the Nick Foles situation. Yeah, exactly. Like Nick Foles. Do you know what I'm talking about? Exactly. You don't even know what I'm talking yeah, do, about. Bro. You don't even know how he beat your used to be favorite team, the Patriots, in the Super Bowl. So the Patriots were never my favorite team, bro. Yeah, they were. Back when I didn't know ball. Yeah, so they were your favorite team. <laughs> now I root for the winners. That's why I've got the Eagles, the Bills, and now the Chiefs, too. I just picked up some Chiefs gear. You did? No. <laughs> <laughs> that was a point the hell out of me. And you wore that cowboy shit all year. Yeah, but that was because I got that at a thrift store. I didn't even know who the cowboys were. <laughs> I didn't know what they were all about. I didn't, bro. Smoking didn't. Marlboros. <laughs> Who's their owner? The guy that was in like the that Jerry picture, Jones. Jerry Jones. I burned that shit as soon as I found out about Jerry Jones. No, you probably fucking I wrapped framed it. Hard. it I wrapped it hard that it. night. <laughs> Yo, this dude Jerry Jones was a historic goat. Yeah, he stood up for what he believed in. It's what it's all about, dude. It's all about just standing up for what you believe in. It didn't matter that what he believed in was wrong. It matters <laughs> that he stood up for it. It matters that he, that had, he had morals, dude. Everybody else is just like, tries to stay in the middle and won't pick a side. Like, at least he picked a side. Yes, it was the wrong side. But he was going for it, man. Exactly. And I respect the fuck out of that. Oh, man. How does this usually go? I don't think I've ever... None of my none of my uh, favorite players have been injured before. So how long will we know? How long Gabe Davis know? was hurt this year. No, he wasn't. He missed games this year. Gabe? It was, probably, early, it was probably must have been early season. Yeah, it was before you even <laughs> learned who he was. It must have been before I knew who the Bills were. <laughs> <laughs> before you learned that he existed. No, it he's exactly never been. Was. Hurt. Had to have been early it season. Literally it was. It was, it was like, like the first. I don't really clock through. in until halfway through the season. <laughs> until I that's how it. I roll. <laughs> then I pick. I then I see who's the best, who has the biggest chance of going to the Super Bowl, and then I pick my team. You know, that's literally what Wallow does. Really? Yeah, he just picks the best team every year. Dude, it's the most fun way. Like people are like, dude, you're not a real fan. It's like, yeah, no shit, I'm not a real fan. I've been following them for like three weeks. Being a real fan is so overrated too. Yeah, it's like I picked the winners and now I'm going to go in. Bills are going to win the Super Bowl and I'm going to be like, yeah, dude, that's my team. Until There's next a kid year. at Maybe this the Patriots gambling will be competition. Next year. That, Just kidding. I'm, I'm loyal to the Bills now. Yeah. Have to be. And Eagles. And the Eagles. Yeah. And the Birds, of course. Of course. And the Chiefs and the Colts. <laughs> not the Colts, the Cowboys. Colts? You know who I'm not loyal to is the Bucks. Yeah, because they stink now. They suck ass. Uh, what about the 49ers? No, not the 49ers, bro. I don't think the 49ers are going to be a problem. I think you guys are going to smoke the 49ers. Smoke? Smoke. Roll them up. If you got Hurts. Put them in a spliff? If you don't have Hurts, they're going to fucking 69 you. They're going to fuck you guys. <laughs> Stop talking shit, bro. Damn, that's clean. Write that down. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Damn, bro. I don't even want to tell the story about my brother. Oh, yeah. Let's hear the let's hear the cow. I want to hear about the cow. <laughs> no, I already talked about the cow. Just oh, about, yeah. Wait, who? tell the story about your brother. But he was just coming Sorry, in. Sorry, bro. I'm just thinking. No, I'm just, so I can't I, stop th- thinking ball right I now, I can't dude. either. <laughs> That's all I'm story, thinking about is ball. I, all, all the details that I had lined up in my head are just flipping by the way. We went to a honky-tonk bar in the middle of Williamsburg, and I was just walking around asking all like the Williamsburg hook uh, hipsters how many... Uh, like how many acres they were sitting on. Like, oh, damn. What were they saying? That, no, like a TikTok video? No, huh? <laughs> like a TikTok video? It sounds like it should be a TikTok should video. Be, yeah. How, how many, many acres do y'all have? At the at like the Brooklyn, uh, like the hipster honky tonk. Yeah, 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 yeah. Is there None a honky tonk in Brooklyn? Yeah, there is. Oh, that's brutal. I mean, it, it's a fun ass time. Is it? Yeah, it's fucking dope. There's like live, there's live music every night. It's called, you're not going to, uh, are you not, you're not going to be here for New Year's? No. Damn, that sucks. Why, you wanted to party? Yeah. My boys are coming into town. Bro, you should go to Skinny Dennis. That's the honky tonk. No, we're not going out to Brooklyn, bro. Why? It's in Williamsburg. We're going to, right over we're the going to Atlantic City. No, you're not. No. <laughs> you're pussy ass from the last second in Atlantic City. No. Cheapest heroin in the United States down there. Really? Oh my God. I think it's God. more like Cape Cod. What? Cheapest heroin? Yeah. No, that's probably, that's probably like, the best heroin. That's probably purest. Yeah, price. most yeah, purest. heroin. They got the pure heroin in If Cape they got to take it to an island, that's probably, that's way tougher to get the heroin out there. Atlantic Cape City is like a big heroin issue. Huh? Cape Cod's got a big heroin problem. Yeah, but it's the rich folks doing heroin up there. No, no, nah, Hyannis. Just because there's Ooh. nothing to do other yeah. than the summit except do heroin in the off season. And brother, they, they're good at it. My buddy's about to open. Philly's up a, pretty bad. A glasses shop in heroin in uh, heroin in Cape Cod. <laughs> glasses and heroin. Yeah, that would be genius. Yeah, so that's how you stay open during the uh, off season. Glasses in the summer, heroin in the winter. Damn. What were people saying about the acres? <laughs> There were people were, I mean, I, it's not like no, no one like started like a fight about it. People were pretty like good natured about it, like, ah, oh, none yet. And like, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. but they, but like my, the dude who, who I was with my brother-in-law, he has acres. So, so oh, like, really? he's like a legitimate, like, uh, he's what these dudes were all cosplaying as. How much, how many does he have? He's not sitting on anything crazy. Tell me. Probably like three. Damn. Three acres is a lot. One acre is a lot, yeah. dude. Acres yeah. a lot of land, but still, it's enough enough for him to get a cow. But it, he no, more than enough. But he was probably sitting on the most acres in the building, and he was a good. Feeling. And he was like humble about it. That's got to be a good feeling. It's got to be an incredible yeah. feeling. No, most, most acres, acres in Brooklyn. Yeah, none of these dudes had acres. No, they were just in there like little bowling shirts and like Hawaiians yeah, and yeah, shit yeah. like that, trying to fuck pussy. Is Brooklyn where you live in Brooklyn? Is it that bad? What? Like with the, like with those type of dudes? Oh no, no, my area is not like that at all. Huh? What'd you say? Sh- shams? Shims. Shims? Oh, no. no. That's not there. Yeah, we'll that cut area. that. Let's get that out of there. No, no. Keep that in. But that's that's a different area. That's the area where you do, were doing comedy one time. That's that area. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then and people Williamsburg are roll, People are pulling like, up to the comedy club with skateboards in their hands. Yeah. Every, like a lot of skateboards. A lot of skateboards. It was like the winter. Um, Dude, we saw a, a bike or one of those big wheel accidents. You know those like single... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, wheel. shit. Someone fell. No, it just bumped into walkers. It was like a uh, when you bump into someone's like back of the car when you're driving. It was like that. But with like, a group of people walking, he just fell. And then he had to like wheel away. <laughs> Jesus. So, he's like, sorry, it's my first time. Like all embarrassed about himself. But I would not be riding one of those things in Manhattan for no, the first time. It was time. in this Chicago. Was in, it was in Chicago. But it was right. It was right downtown. It was in the- I would not be riding one of those things in the city. And then like so people go to, like, like walked track. ahead in front of them and then the dude hopped back on his one wheel and like had to approach them again. Like I <laughs> like the same way that he had just crashed into them. That's I'd crazy. be terrified to have to you approach got, like, them shaky again. shaky legs about to go That's out. nuts, <laughs> gave dude. Him, like, five those feet. things are horrifying. Yeah, just get like taken out yeah. from behind. It's you like die. Those... If you crash on one of those, you die for sure. Or if someone hits you from behind with yeah, one of them, yeah. two people are dying. Two people at least. It's like the old uh, videos that in the beginning of quarantine. Or when were those when everyone was running into people with their golf carts? No, that was before quarantine. Oh, that was like right before quarantine. That was like, that <laughs> that was like, like the summer before. 20, no, that was like a 2017, 2018. Yeah, that was, I was like high school stuff. So. Yeah, yeah. Really? Yeah, because yeah, it was early on. That in, shit was uh, foreplay. <laughs> just like smoking. foreplay had to decide if that was going to be their golf content. Or if they oh, were did they cover do it? it? They like they like put a bunch of videos up at the beginning, and then people were like, "You cannot push th- put this online. Yeah. This is dangerous content." I mean, dude, it got to the point where people were just like running, like like they wouldn't even just hit them. They then they would drive over them. <laughs> it's like a one thousand pound golf cart, and that is and just, just like drunk dudes laughing. Over them. Yeah. That yeah. shit, I, I remember watching that and being like, dude, if someone did that to me, I would be so angry. Nice. Feel good? 
You like that, bro? Not bad. Plenty more where that came from. Not bad at all. Tight muscle control by me, bro. So we got to do two more episodes this week. Don't think about that, bro. We got to do one tomorrow. What are you doing with KB and Nick? Yeah. Crossover next week. Part one, part two. Oh shit! This is coming out right before Christmas. Oh, this will this be, will, so Christmas yeah. is. This is coming what? out tomorrow. This is, this this is Christmas on Wednesday. Sunday. This is coming out Wednesday. This is our last episode 21st. before Christmas. Yeah. This one's Wednesday. Christmas is the twenty sixth crossover. 25th. Yes, that also is the twenty fifth. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, yeah, we have one more. For Wait, is Wednesday the twenty first? Yeah. Do the days start getting longer after that? I think they get longer after. Is it? I thought, it was, the winter Christ- solstice, I thought it was after right? Christmas Eve. No, nah, 21st. It December 21st. So that's the shortest day of the year is when this podcast is coming out. And so good news, everybody. The days are about to start getting longer. That is, that's huge. That's massive, dude. That's going to help my seasonal depression. Yeah. You depressed? I don't really talk a lot about it, but God damn, I'm fucking <laughs> yeah. depressed. That Jalen Hurts news couldn't have helped. Fuck you, bro. Going to the bottle. Yeah. Fuck you, Couple bro. Couple drinks tonight. How about I slit your throat? Whoa, whoa, whoa. How's that sound? Dude, speaking of depression, I uh, <laughs> I haven't had my Zoloft in a while. And I've been trying to get it refilled. It finally got refilled today because I had to, I've been calling the pharmacy. They say they're going to refill it. They don't. So I called my doctor and they're instantly going back to the, it's the same thing that happened with the Ativan at one time. Like I'm like, <laughs> like I'm being like having addictive behaviors. I'm like, it's, I'm asking for 50 milligrams of Zoloft and they're like, Ooh, it looks like you already had a refill in December. You took all of them? And I'm like, well, first of all, no, I didn't have a refill in December. And second of all, if I did take all of them, what what was going to happen? I was yeah. taking, I was getting too much serotonin. <laughs> you know what, what sentence I want to say, but I'll let you say that for your act. No, bro. what was it? Cut this. No, don't say it. I'm not saying it. Don't say, don't say any of my punchlines. That's what I'm just saying. I, I just, suddenly I just have a, the it. urge to take a massive shit. The I don't, urge. <laughs> you won't do it. It's coming out now. You won't shit. How far in are we? 70. 70? Do you want me to go to the bathroom and come back, or do you want to wrap it up? No, we can wrap it up. We'll see everybody next week. Okay. We'll see you guys next week. Uh, go birds. Hopefully they've recovered by then. Uh, thanks for listening. Peace. Birds.